I think that there's, I don't know if it's a drawback. I mean, we need the ability to storytell, right? I mean, that's the first thing we're all doing is we're telling a story at a game. So I think, you know, the first drawback would be, you know, how can we, you know, do that with just only computers? You know, how do you take a shot and show emotion? How do you show reaction? How do you cover an injury? How do you get interviews? Um, so I think those, all those things, right now at least, still involve some form of, of human interaction um, and a director and camera guys that are, that are covering it. Um, and so I think, I think that would be the biggest con right now. It's not to say that in the future we won't be able to program to see certain types of reactions or, or anything like that, because I think that probably will come. Um, but right now I think that you, that you lose a little bit of that ability to show emotion. What do you think? Yeah, I would say um, and there's a lot of different systems out there, whether it's fully automated or has um, uh, manual interpretation, so an operator, a camera operator, a director, or the ability to, to mix that in, right? So um, where an operator or a director can take control of the system and work it. Um, I think there's a lot of learning that still needs to be done with AI and those systems and it's all based on the program. So, you know, a lot of systems might be, were initially built for soccer, but I have to go and do a soccer, baseball, softball, tennis, a volleyball, a swimming match. I have to go and do all these different sporting events, and the system isn't capable of doing that, at least on the learning side of the AI system. So that's going to progress as these systems de get deployed and are out there and being used. But those, are, those, I think, are the biggest challenges there, is the system has to be able to do a different sport every day.